In this video, we're going to have a look at the conditions needed for convergence to occur when using the fixed point iteration method. So the condition is that when solving with a fixed point iterative method, the equation x equals f of x, then for convergence to occur, the gradient f dash x of the curve must be between minus 1 and 1. So let's illustrate by means of a diagram what this actually means. So let's make f of x clearly have a gradient of between minus 1 and 1. So, for example, this line here. So now, if we start trying to converge, well, first of all, let's take our start iteration. Let's say x equals minus 4. Down to f of x, along to y equals x. To f of x to y equals x, f of x, y equals x, and we can see it's converging towards this point here. So convergence is occurring in this case, and clearly this the gradient of this line here, the blue line, is between minus 1 and 1. So getting rid of that example now, let's try again, but this time with a negative gradient between minus 1 and 1. Let's say this line here. So again, Let's start iterating at x equals minus 4. So up to f of x, along to y equals x, to f of x, to y equals x, to f of x, to y equals x. Now we can see it's cobwebbing, if such a verb exists, to the point of intersection, which is there. So again, convergence is occurring. So we've just shown a couple of examples where the gradient of f of x is between minus 1 and 1 and convergence does occur. So let's try another example now. This time we're going to try one where the gradient is outside of the limits minus 1 to 1. So something that has a large gradient. So that's steeper than the line y equals x. So let's say this one here where the point of intersection is roughly the origin. So now let's take x equals minus 2 as the start iterate. So we'll go to f of x, then to y equals x, and already we see that this example is diverging. So it's just going to continue getting further and further away from that point of intersection. How about we try 2 as the start iterate? So up to f of x, to y equals x, and see again, it's just going to diverge. So when the gradient is bigger than 1, we can see convergence hasn't occurred as predicted. But one last example, how about one with a very negative gradient? Let's say this one here. So let's make our first iterate close to the point of intersection to give it the best chance of converging. So let's start at x equals minus 0 0.5. So x equals minus 0 0.5 up to f of x, along to y equals x. to f of x, to y equals x, to f of x. And we can see it's cobwebbing outwards now, so it's not going to converge again. So we've illustrated four different examples, two of which where it does converge, where the gradient of what we're trying to solve y equals x simultaneously with is between minus 1 and 1, where convergence does happen. And outside of these limits, we've illustrated that convergence doesn't happen. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.